The law of conservation of mass can also be done using word problems, where the mass of the reactants and products must be equal. So as you read through the problem, what you do is you just write out numbers using cues in the wording of your problem. If 35 grams of nitrogen gas are reacted with hydrogen gas to produce 47 grams of ammonia gas, how many grams of hydrogen gas were reacted? So 35 grams of nitrogen are reacted with an unknown amount of hydrogen gas to produce 47 grams of ammonia gas. Well, to find this out, just solve for x. 35 plus x equals 47. Subtract 35 from both sides. The antidote for addition is subtraction. 47 minus 35 is 12. And we can just double check that. 35 plus 12 is 47. And we have 47 on this side. Remember when we did decay problems back in the nuclear unit? And then we said the numbers have to add up to the same thing on both sides? It's exactly the same deal here. The law of conservation of mass says you can't create mass, you can't destroy it. Whatever mass you start with has to equal the mass you end with. How many grams of aluminum are formed when 45 grams of aluminum oxide are decomposed into aluminum and 35 grams of oxygen? So we're decomposing aluminum oxide, 45 grams worth. We're decomposing it into aluminum and 35 grams of oxygen. Solve for x by subtracting 35 grams from each side. And we get 10 grams. Why did I put a decimal point there? Well, because when you subtract ones place and ones place, you have to show your answer precise to the nearest ones place. So I put a decimal point there. Without that decimal point, we're saying the number is precise to the tens place not the ones place. And finally, how many grams of iron 2 sulfide must be decomposed to form 33 grams of iron and 17 grams of sulfur? So we're starting off with iron 2 sulfide, but we don't know how much. And we're decomposing it to form 33 grams of iron and 17 grams of sulfur. Well, that's easy. Just add the two numbers together. 33 plus 17 adds up to 50 grams. And once again, ones place plus ones place, we need to have our answer shown to the nearest ones place, so we need to put a decimal point there to do that.